Surprises equals win more cubes, am I right? And Malekith is the guy to do it. Let's talk about how in a bit, but first, who is Malekith? Malekith the Accursed is a dark elf who grew up in a time of war in the realm of Svartalheim. While captured, he met a wizard who helped him escape and took him as an apprentice. Malekith eventually surpassed him as a wizard and turned on his former mentor, who marked Malekith with a spell, making half of his face black. Malekith has superhuman attributes common to dark elves, on top of being a powerful sorcerer. He can also summon the Wild Hunt, a pack of mystical dogs when he wants to track someone down. He's allied with Loki against Thor, fought Iron Man over possession of the Mandarin's rings, and at one time was bonded to the Venom symbiote. But Thor put an end to all that. In fact, when Malekith tried to sick his Wild Hunt on Thor, he lost control of the beast, who instead ate Malekith. So his soul has been imprisoned in Hell. He did escape for a short bit when Carnage was in Hell, but that didn't Last very long. Fun fact, you see this Conqueror Carnage variant? That's Malekith down there playing the role of a step stool. In Marvel Snap, Malekith is a 4 energy 6 power card with the ability on reveal. Add a 1, 2, or 3 cost card from your deck here. It reveals at the end of the game. So according to the devs on Discord, you can see the card Malekith pulls out. So that's a big bonus. And it might feel a bit random which card he'll pull out, but in a regular game on turn 4, think about this, when you can play him, you only have 5 cards in your deck. That's 20%. And if you know your deck well enough, or if you have a deck tracker, you'll kind of know what cards are available to be pulled and what the odds are of pulling them. Actually, the later you play him, the better your odds of pulling out what you want are. Now, I'm talking about cards you want to play last. Cards like Wolfsbane and Sage for maximum buffs, Shadow King and Killmonger as tech options, Hazmat for a last minute boost to Ajax, or cards that have big power but negative effects that are mitigated by being revealed at the end of the game. Cards like Maximus, Martyr, Ebony Maw, Titania. Something like this, uh, this deck got me to Infinite when Supergiant first came out, so maybe Malekith brings this style of play back into the meta. Now, Malekith comes to the spotlight caches in a very interesting week, because with him is Valentina who's trash, and Thena, who's really good, uh, archetype defining cards. So if you're gonna try with keys, make sure you have four, so you don't pull Valentina and it just feels bad after. Rashi Dente, I have fun though. So his stat line of four, six is actually not bad, considering that he's gonna pull out even more power from your deck at the end of the game. I think he's gonna be fun because he enables a lot of surprise plays and 